This is the Vivid Storm S Pro, a motorized tension floor rising ALR projector screen and this particular model is 100 inches, it comes in black and is made for ultra short throw projectors. Vivid Storm are one of the best premium brands for UST projector accessories and this video will show you why. Now I didn't just order this alone, I've also purchased another piece of equipment from Vivid Storm which came in these three large and very heavy crates. You'll definitely need a minimum of two people to help take these out and carry them to your room, so you have to spend some time using a chisel and hammer to open the crates up first. So I'm going to do that now and move them into my bedroom. And here it is. This is the Vivid Storm motorized laser TV cabinet designed to be fitted with the motorized floor rising ALR screen and it's called the Monte Carlo. So here's the Monte Carlo fully unpacked and I'm ready to put it together. But one of the key things to remember is these do come fully assembled. When I first ordered this, I was quite worried that it's gonna take me a very long time to assemble it if it came in a lot of pieces, you know, with a million screws, but luckily, it just comes in these three different modular designs that you just have to push together. There's no like interlocking connection between each of the sections. You just have to push them close together and that's pretty much it. It makes it very easy for you to move and reposition around the room. So I'm gonna go ahead and showcase all of the accessories that come with not just the Monte Carlo cabinet, but let's start off with the accessories that come with the ALR screen that I've also unpacked and just placed behind there. Okay, so you have yourself some information about how to use a USB dongle, which I'll talk about in a second. You have the user manual that came in this very nice thank you envelope, a lot of information, and I definitely recommend you read this before you start using the ALR screen, but I will show you how that works when we go ahead and dive into that. Now it comes with two different remote controls, which I think is a very nice option. You have a white one and a black one. The white one is an RF remote, so you can control it from anywhere in your room, even if there are obstructions. And the black one is an infrared remote control, but you need to have a straight line of sight, and I'll show you the infrared receiver that is on the ALR screen itself. Each of these remote controls do come with a bracket that you can mount on the wall. So you do get a couple of screws and wall plugs with each of these if you do want to connect it to a wall. Now this is a USB and it does mention that this is a public beta, but it's also noted that this could work up to 99% of all UST projectors. Now what this is made for is that when you do turn on your projector, this will automatically turn on the ALR screen and start that motorized upwards to its full position. So essentially this would allow you just to have a one click setup for everything to turn on and be ready to start watching your content. So I'll be checking this in with one of my UST projectors in a separate video. Then you have a couple of other accessories here. You have this orange and yellow screwdriver kind of thing. This basically allows you to reposition the maximum height or the minimum height of the ALR screen. But you can also use this screwdriver to take out the back of your remote control and to charge up the batteries or replace the batteries. I'll showcase where to do this on the screen when we go over there in a second. Now you'll notice there's a type of paintbrush here. This is not really to paint anything. The ALR screen should also be maintained for its cleansiness. So if you do keep it open for long periods of time and it may gather some dust, this is quite important to maintain its quality. So you have to do a regular set of cleaning if you do have the screen open for very long periods each single day. All you have to do is to do horizontal motions, but there's some information inside the manual about how to do that as well. But always try to maintain and keep everything clean, not just the screen, but also your cabinet. But let's go ahead and dive over to the screen and see how that works. So I have the power cable already attached to the left side of the ALR screen. You can see that is the infrared receiver. You can just leave it tied up if you're not going to use the IR remote. I have it plugged into the wall. To turn it on is you also have to do this red switch. You'll notice there's another switch here. This is the manual control. In case you maybe lost your remote control and you wanted to raise the screen or even lower it, you can press this up or down and that will raise or lower the screen. So now you'll notice there's a couple of caps here. If you remove the cap of the top one, this is where you can use that screwdriver that I was showing earlier. So you have this orange here. 
This allows you to connect in here and then you'll be able to rotate and control the maximum height of the ALR screen. Make sure to always read the instructions in the user manual how to do this. There's a quick snapshot of some information as well, just listed there. Make sure you always reposition everything correctly to how your laser projector maximum distance is for the throw of the light. So that's a very convenient way to make sure that this fits pretty much any projector you do set up with this entire unit. If you are going to use this ALR screen as a motorized floor screen and have this just placed permanently on a floor, always recommend in each corner, there's these metal legs that pop out, which can actually be screwed into the ground if you needed to, but make sure they are out on all four sides. I've popped them out just there and at the backs as well. That's very important. But now everything is ready. Let's go ahead and all I need to do is press the up arrow to start raising this ALR screen. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. You'll notice when it does reach its maximum height, it will drop a little bit, a few inches, like so. It does that automatically just to make sure it has the full range and it's set into its final position but you can see it wasn't even that loud it's very nice let's take a closer look at the material now alr screens are traditionally very high quality premium quality screens you can see this is in gray color but it has a semi-translucent feel to it it's borderless as well so you don't have the black borders on the sides of the screen you can see it's bound by this very nice translucent wire which is a high quality wire. And this rolls all the way down and folds directly into the unit when it gets there to the bottom. You can actually watch your content with 170 degree of viewing angles. So no matter where you position this and where you view the screen from, you can be sure that you're still going to see everything with the utmost clarity, especially if you are watching things in 4K, which this screen is more than capable to display very well, even in broad daylight. Now, just to show you the back side of this and how this folds down, you can see you have those black metallic rods that are hinged in the middle and very comfortably folds all the way back into its base. Very clean and ultra silent. Okay, so now let's take a look at the accessories for the Monte Carlo cabinet. So you've got a whole bunch of these screw legs that we are going to be placing at the bottom once we are going to set this up. Comes with a remote control as well to start using the motorized cabinet. This is the 3M sticky circular feet that will also place in some certain positions. You get a user manual that's fully in Chinese because everything here ships from China. One thing to also note with the shipping as well, it may take up to three months. So always double check depending on which country you are ordering this to, to see what the shipping times would be. You also have a USB extension lead. So we'll test this when we do connect the USB dongle that I was showing earlier with the projector and the cabinet. Then you also have the power adapter that you will connect to the motorized parts inside this middle section of the Monte Carlo. Now to get this all set up, I highly recommend take a look at my description. I've got a link to the installation video. To follow the video on how everything is connected together is going to be so much easier than reading through a user manual. So always check that out before you start doing any of the installation. Okay, so now I have the ALR screen added to the back of the Monte Carlo cabinet. So I just wanna show you how I set this up, but I do recommend you watch the installation video. I've got this plugged in and you can turn this on. There's a hole once you've removed the back plates of the right side and the middle. There's a hole back there that you can feed the power cable directly through. So I have that plugged in. The cable goes through the right side here. And then in the middle unit, you've got all your wiring for the motors. Right there in the middle there, that is the power cable attached. I haven't got the projector set up just yet. I'm waiting for my new UST Philips Screen EO U5 laser projector to arrive. When that comes, I will set this up with this cabinet. You've got your infrared receivers there. So everything is pretty much connected. There is one USB cable 
that needs to be attached to the projector when you set it up, just so that you can control with the remote control of your projector, both the cabinet and the screen at the same time. So let's go ahead to the front. I've done the pairing of the remote control as per the instructions and it was very straightforward to do. Now I just need to hit the power button and the middle compartment should open. So when your projector arrives and you're ready to place it onto here and connect the USB cable and also connect that white USB stick so that you can pair it with the screen at the same time. You can take this lid off at the front by just lifting it up like so and it's very easy to have everything placed in there and connected. You can see there's some fans on the left hand side as well just to get that ventilation and cooling of your projector so you've got no worries of it overheating and likewise you have some gaps there as well to eliminate any heat from having this inside this drawer. The front of this panel also has a mesh system so that it also eliminates a lot of the heat from the front of this drawer so you've got no issues all around basically of having heat trapped inside this when you are using your UST projector. Okay so now we are ready to set up the projector. One thing you need to make sure you've pulled through the power cable for your projector and the USB cable that's linked to the ports at the back and then you need to get this USB dongle because you'll be connecting that to the projector so that everything works together in sync. So I have my brand new Philips Screenio U5. I've just released the review of this. So if you guys haven't seen that, make sure to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description for this laser projector. So now I'm going to make sure I connect everything. There we go, I've connected it, placed it there in the middle. And we should be good to now turn it on and it should connect everything together. So now this is closed, we can place this back. Okay, so now I'm going to be using the projector remote control to power it on, and that will automatically bring the projector out and raise the screen. So everything is controlled with now just one remote control. So let me go ahead and do that now. There you go, perfect. Now, the first time you do this, obviously you have to make sure you do the keystone correction so that everything fits onto the screen. So when you go to projector settings, you can just make your picture calibration and alignment so it fits within the actual height and width of the ALR screen as well. In some cases, you might have a UST laser projector whereby the position inside this cabinet on the power plate might be either a bit too close or too far and it might come off of the screen. So make sure you do have a projector that you can adjust maybe the zoom level so you can actually shrink it down if it is maybe a little bit too far from the screen. And likewise with my Philips Screenio U5, it does recommend that it goes up to 120 inches by being 11 inches away. And the cabinet with the projector on side in the plate, it's maybe around nine inches. So I have to really make sure I adjust these settings to make sure it fits perfectly to the edges and I can go ahead and just make any other further refinements. But you can see for my projector specifically, there is a gap between the top line and the top of the ALR screen. Of course, with this ALR screen, you have the option to set the maximum height that it does come out. So it feels like it fits completely perfectly. Now, because of my projector requiring a larger screen, you can see that there's a bit of a light leak just on the left-hand side. That one, I'm going to have to live with that and that's absolutely fine, but that's based on the projector and it has nothing to do with the screen or the cabinet itself. So make sure when you do buy a projector that it does come with settings that you can adjust maybe the zoom levels, the screen projection size, and any other settings that might make you be able to bring it down when it is very close, maybe nine inches towards the screen itself. So now that everything is set up, it looks absolutely great. I still have quite a lot of daylight coming in, but you can see how clear this is, it's picture sharp. So let's go ahead and play a demo video for you guys. And of course, if you haven't seen my full review of my projector, then make sure to check the link below. I've tested out all of the video quality, the picture quality and the sound quality that this projector can produce. But this overall setup is absolutely amazing and I'm so happy with this. I'll just play a demo video on YouTube and showcase to you guys how it looks in both daytime and at nighttime.
So there you have it guys. You can see how amazing that looked both in daytime and when I turned off all of the lights and the shutters to make it dark in the room. It's super clear. Having this type of laser TV cabinet is just something that I would recommend to anyone that can afford it. So talking about the price, the ALR screen itself comes in at roughly around 1300 pounds. The projector I bought for 1700 pounds, which was the early bird pricing and the TV cabinet itself was around £4,000, giving me a total of £7,000 spent on this entire home theatre system. However, I do have a 6% discount code for the Monte Carlo TV cabinet, which I've put in the description. So if you want to get this, then you can get it a little bit cheaper as well. So take a look down below if you are interested. So I really have to give credit to Vivid Storm because the quality of their products, I just can't fault it. It was super easy to set up. I followed their very brief instructions and I was up and running in no time. So definitely check out the link for the Vivid Storm website, especially if you want to buy some accessories for your UST laser projectors. They have the best on the market in my opinion. And when you're ready to close the entire setup, it's very simple. So I'll back out. All I need to do is use the remote control to shut down depending on how long you've actually been using this for. So if you've had it on for about five hours, it might take a few minutes for it to cool down because it does cool down and then it closes the drawer and the screen itself. If you've only had it on for about five minutes, then it will close straight away. So I'll go ahead and I will shut this down. And everything else would close by itself very shortly. There you have it. That closed down within maybe five seconds, very quick and easy. So the motorized drawer and the screen have now closed. And there you have it. And hopefully you found that review useful. This is an excellent setup, 100 inch 4K laser TV setup now in my bedroom. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about this whole complete home theater system setup. Make sure to subscribe. I have much more reviews coming out with really cool tech ideas like this. I also have a ALR screen versus standard basic cheap white screen video coming out very soon. Once it's released, I will link that down below. Make sure to like the video and I will see you guys at the next one. Take care.